Hi, my name is Rachel Johnson, and this is my application video to become a Google Certified Trainer. I've been a teacher for over 10 years and a program lead in science and information technology for the past four. I was first introduced to G Suite over seven years ago when I attended my first Google Summit. Since that experience, I haven't looked back. I love learning about new ways to engage students and integrate technology into the classroom, and I love sharing that learning even more. Over the past six years, I've facilitated a variety of training for our staff with a strong focus on G Suite. When I'm not busy running training sessions, I'm podcasting with an amazing colleague as we both can't stop talking about tech tips. So why do I want to be a Google Certified Trainer? I am super passionate about leveraging the power of technology in the classroom. I think that this certification will allow me to grow further as a trainer and help me to reach more educators. I've seen the positive impact that technology can have on student achievement. As a Google Certified Trainer, I can continue to build capacity for using G Suite apps in creative and innovative ways with our students. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use Google Drawings to create personalized feedback stickers for your students. So let's get started with the learning. We're going to start by starting a new Google Drawing. So you're going to click on New, you're going to go to More, and then you're going to click on Google Drawings. So that will bring up a new drawing. You want to give that a name. Let's just call it Sticker. And we want to change the canvas size by going to File, Page Setup. We're going to go Custom. We want this in inches, and we're going to make it three by three inches, which is a nice size for your sticker. We're going to use the shape tool to pick a circle shape. We're going to hold down the shift key as we drag it so that our circle stays perfect. We're going to come to the fill tool, change the color, border tool. We're going to make transparent. And if you want to make it really pop on your page, you go to format options and turn on the drop shadow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in a Bitmoji from my Bitmoji extension because I really like using these for stickers for my students. So I'm just dragging that in. I'm just going to resize it a bit and then bring it up to the center of my circle. When you're happy with that, you want to go to File, Download, and download your file as a PNG. You're then going to come back to your drive and make sure that gets uploaded back to your drive so that you can use it with a piece of student work. So when we're in student work, then you're going to come to insert image and then drive. And now what you can do is you can just click and drag and drop those stickers onto your student work for instant feedback to your students. 